George Nakashima and Osama Noguchi's lives ran parallel to each other. Both were raised between two very distinct cultures and both developed successful artistic careers that paid deep homage to their Japanese American heritage. George Nakashima was born to Japanese parents, but grew up in the United States. He trained as an architect, then traveled before returning to America and being interned during the Second World War. Here, he met the traditional Japanese cabinet maker, Gentaro Hikagawa, and his career took a fundamental turn. After Nakashima was released, he established a furniture workshop in Pennsylvania and embarked upon a career as a master craftsman, producing one-off and limited edition timber furniture. Nakashima's reverence for trees and their majestic beauty was fundamental to his approach. He sourced the timbers himself, buying whole logs and milling them before storing the slabs for years. He loved the fact that his furniture offered trees a second life, allowing the beauty of the grain and natural flaws in the wood to be appreciated in perpetuity. Nakashima's designs were heavily influenced by Shaker aesthetics, in particular the use of the spindleback, as well as the Japanese reverence for hand manufacture and the celebration of the imperfect. Isama Noguchi's life was a constant journeying between two cultures. He is primarily regarded as a sculptor, but his career was multifaceted. His father was Japanese and his mother American, and he was raised in Japan, but studied in the United States. In 1947, Noguchi produced his coffee table model number IN50, now an icon of 20th century design. Here we see Noguchi's sensibility for organic rounded forms reflecting his desire to incorporate sculpture into people's everyday lives. During a trip to Japan in 1951, Noguchi visited Gifu, known for its manufacture of chōchin, traditional paper lanterns made from bamboo and washi paper. Noguchi's ideas for sculpture were uninhibited by conventional boundaries, and he recognized the potential in transforming this traditional art form into contemporary light sculptures for use in domestic spaces. Noguchi produced over 200 lighting designs for table, floor, and pendant lights in a range of configurations and sizes. He called them akari, meaning light, but also implying lightness. They marry traditional Japanese art forms and materials with modern design, embodying Noguchi's philosophy of elegant, functional, and affordable design. 